Healing of wounds is improved by delivering 100% pressurized oxygen to the entire body. When patients are placed within the controlled, pressurized environment of the hyperbaric chamber, more oxygen dissolves in the blood and can be taken through the bloodstream to reach a wound. The oxygen also more effectively penetrates tissues with poor blood supply. When placed inside a hyperbaric chamber, the patient begins to breathe 100% oxygen while the pressure is slowly raised to two or more times the level of normal atmospheric pressure. The increased delivery of oxygen to tissues improves the wound activity of white blood cells and stimulates the development of new blood vessels needed to support the overall healing process. Before treatment, patients are examined and vital signs checked. They are asked to don special garments designed for the therapy and are then placed inside the chamber. The patient goes through the wound care center first. They have a complete HMP, they'll have a chest x-ray, and they'll be cleared medically by the medical doctor and then they can die. Is any special attention given to their ears? We do. The nurse checks their ears before and after every visit to make sure you know they're okay, make sure they're clearing okay. If they're not clearing okay, they can see it and we'll send them to an ENT. The first phase of treatment session is called compression and lasts about 10 minutes. During this phase, the pressure within the chamber is very slowly increased from normal atmospheric pressure to the higher prescribed pressure level. During this phase, the patient will experience sensations in the ear similar to what is felt in an airplane or during a ride down a mountain. The HBOT technician will coach the patient in the use of various techniques that will help to equalize ear pressure with that in the chamber. To equalize pressure in their ears, I'll ask them to swallow a lot, to pretend to yawn, stretch their jaw, but also we give them a water bottle and they take a few sips of water, it helps to equalize their ears. The second phase, or treatment time, usually lasts 90 minutes to two hours. During this period, the patient may nap, listen to music, or watch television, and can communicate at any time with the technician who is nearby and constantly monitoring the therapy. So while the patients are in the chamber, you're with them at all times, is that I'm right? I'm at all times. I'm always watching them. If I have to leave to go behind the chamber, I always let them know. So they can just holler out and I can hear them. The third or decompression phase takes approximately the same time as did compression. During this phase, the pressure within the chamber is slowly returned to normal atmospheric pressure before completion of the session. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is an effective modality in the treatment of a variety of wound problems. It has become an important facet of the overall care of wound patients at the New York Hospital Queens Center for Wound Healing at Silvercrest.